can you believe there's a place in the game that isn't predominantly orange? Me neither, but here we are. That light is quite orange though, so never mind. Welcome back folks to Let's Play Deus Ex The Fall, and when last we left off this package is also orange, and we are in the Limb Clinic. The Limb Clinic we were told to go to by Alvarez. Our card did not work, but this doctor still wanted to help us out. Kind of. We're doing something for her in exchange for possibly getting something back. She's worried about Ryzine, and I think she's quite right to do so. And so we're going to meet up with a contact that she has, who hopefully will be able to shed some light into what's going on with Ryzine in Panama City. There is quite a lot of it, and she's concerned that it is being cut with some very unsavoury stuff, and that it might not actually be good to begin with. Before we leave, let's read this. Re-clinical trials. Camilla, we were obviously disappointed to hear that you weren't interested in having your clinic participate in early trials of Rhizine. We can assure you that Rhizine is a 100% safe alternative to Neuropazine. The last thing we want to do here at Sapphire is step on your toes, but I thought it was worth mentioning that several members of your board of directors have contacted us directly about the trials. We would love to follow up with you in this matter next week, if you're available. Best Jenny Sass, Zaphire Biotech. That pretty much means, hey, we're applying pressure here. You should cave. I hope that, uh, she doesn't. Jenny, I've done a thorough review of all the materials you sent over, and it's still my recommendation that our clinic does not participate in Rhizine trials. I know that this is not the answer you were looking for, and ultimately, this is not my decision. Sincerely, Camilla Cardosa. She is fighting a losing battle here. I get the feeling that if we don't do something, she'll have to put Ryzine on the list of things that she can uh, give to people. Also, an ID file. There's nothing more we can do here. Let's leave. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner we can go to Cobra. Cobra is someone we need to talk to. We also need to go and check out that level 4 hack, because we now can hack things that are level 4. Hello? You weren't here before. Hold it right there, citizen. Looks like you're packing some serious hardware. You must be an agent. Government? Military? Let's be honest here. Ex-military? We could be aggressive and say people who ask these types of questions don't usually end up living long? No, not a good idea. And dismiss. I'm nobody. We're just gonna say we're ex-military. Ex-military. But I got tired of fighting other people's wars. Shit, yeah, I get that. But I need some help, and I'm willing to pay for it. You help me fight my war, and I'll make it worth your while. Oh, look at that persuasion level. We said the right thing there. Let us pursue this line of inquiry. Also, we cannot use pheromones here at all. You've got my attention. What do you want? I'm working on a case involving illegal rising distribution in Panama. And I think I got my man, the Kingpin. His name is Alvarez Uraujo, local scumbag. Somehow, he's got a line on the stuff and is selling large quantities of the drug in the slums. And you want to put him out of business? We're pretty tolerant of low-level crime in the city. Recreational drug use, but this is completely different. Lots of people are dying. We've got bodies piling up in the streets. And now, they're trying to push this junk downtown. That can't happen. So what do you want me to do? Take him out? Nothing like that. I just need evidence to make a bust. See if you can make contact with this lowlife. And then search for evidence. A list of customers, receipts. A pocket secretary would do the trick. Right. What's the reward like? If I take care of this for you, what do I get? Good question. If I take care of this for you, what do I get? Well, besides the warm fuzzy feeling of making the world a better place, how about cold hard cash? Cold hard cash is a good incentive. But Alvarez is generally trying to help people out. He's not trying to be malicious here. I don't think he knows if Ryzine is an especially good or bad drug. I don't think he's done the research. Maybe we should talk to him about this first. Or at least see if, uh we can come to a better decision by speaking to him. I'll do it, but if I get you the evidence you need, you better not stiff me. You got my word. Right, we have a side mission now. Both of them are in the same direction. We also have the ability to open up level four things. Let us go and find that level four thing. Ooh, 
Look at that! Beer I didn't see before! A reward in itself. Now that leads to, uh, the way out. We don't want to go there just yet. We want to find those few things that I haven't yet opened. Like the things down here. That is level 5. That one's already open. We can't open that one. I'll be back here later, I'm sure. For now, we're going to head over here and see if we can uh, complete our objectives. Both of them. I'll find the level 4 thing later. I'll eventually stumble upon it, purely because it's one of the few uh, things that I haven't opened yet. We meant, we're meant to go this way for our main objective. Time to do that side objective first, and very quickly pop over here. I'm sure nobody will mind if I uh, take a small diversion. Over here we go! You want to go dancing? Well, I'm doing a mission. Don't mind me. We've opened that, we've opened that, we've opened pretty much everything here. Quite a difference from the first time I went down here. The slums. The slums are a lot quieter than they used to be, that's for sure. There's a lot less people around, mainly the gangers, because I've taken them all out. Over here we go. Haven't been able to get over to here yet. I'm sure I'll find a way at some point. Don't mind me! Just passing. Now, if we go over to, uh, here, we may be able to warn him that something is happening. This is a potential option. Or we could talk about the fact that the, uh, card did nothing. Admittedly, it did manage to get us to the person we wanted to talk to, though, so it was kind of a success. Hello, you. What's wrong, English? You have a strange look about your face. Now, we could warn him. Alvarez, you should know. The police are after you. Or... Nothing you need to worry about. I need to make a decision here. Do I side with the uh, the policeman, or do I warn Alvarez and give him a chance to get out of here? Ultimately, he is trying to help people. He's not being malicious. We don't yet know how dangerous Ryzen is. The problem is, if we don't warn him, he won't be able to supply any of the uh, things that he's giving people that keep them alive, because they are suffering from DDS. If we do warn him, he could get out of here and escape, and he may end up killing people anyway, because of uh, Rhysine potentially being a very harmful drug. But he is ultimately trying to help people out. He's trying to do the right thing. And he did help us out. So we're going to help him out in turn. Avares, you should know. The police are after you. Oh, the police are always after me. What else is new? No, this is serious. They wanted me to get them evidence to build a case against you and bust your doors down. Rayus, did you agree to betray Alvarez? I came here to warn you. Your time's up. You need to pack up and get out of town before they haul you in. I appreciate the warning. In my line of work, when things get too hot, it's time to move on. But these people in the slums, they'll have no one to turn to now. Not much that we can really do about that, though, because you would get into trouble either way. We're going to have to go and, uh, leave, and report that we couldn't find anything. Oh well! We did get experience. We may have done the right thing, we may have not done the right thing. Deus Ex rarely gives you a choice which is either right or wrong. It gives you choices where both of the potential outcomes are either good or bad, and it gives you the option of, hey, which one do you want to pick? And then you have to go with whatever choice you decide. Also, I think I found the way over here. Let us go and uh, see if we can get over. Can we actually get over? That is not over. There we go. That's over. I had to right-click for some reason, but we managed to get over. Pistol ammo. Very nice. We also got a tiny amount of experience. Also good. And we will get over here. There we go. No idea where everything disappeared, but they disappeared and now everything's back. Just gonna have a quick look around because there might be something else, but I really don't think there is right now. Let us just get out of here. We'll go to that uh, level 5 hack in a little bit. We could go and report back to the uh, policeman that we weren't successful. I imagine this is not going to end that well for us, but we did try. Also, we are quite a distance away from our next level, but we do have two Praxis points. So what we're going to do is we're going to gain that final point here. Good! 
We could also potentially get Hacking Fortify, increases the node's module by one in order to slow down trace attempts. I don't know how much more hacking there's going to be in the game, but I'm not really using very much else here, so I'm going to uh, unlock that. Probably should have done that near the beginning when I was trying to do all of the uh, hacking, but I imagine there'll be some more hacking that we have to do. Before we go and uh, go to the actual mission objective, I'm going to go back to that policeman. We might get some experience, and that experience will always come in handy. We'll be able to get some other things then, like things that will make us better at uh, combat, because eventually there will be combat, I'm pretty sure. We're not that far away. I may inadvertently find that thing that I was hoping to hack. Is this the thing I was hoping to hack? Yes it is, I have found it. Right, this looks really complicated. We only need to get there though to uh, complete the objective. That seems further away than it actually is. We have to go up there and like that. To get over to here, we can go this way or we can go that way. Let's go this way for now. Now we have to go around there to get over to here. That's the problem. We have to go the long way around. There's also stuff over there that we can grab. This is going well so far. Not bad. I'm gonna go over here. That's good. Let us get all the way over to here and then consider what we're doing. There we go. We could go for this. I'm gonna go for this. Let's get that and get the bonus. Brilliant. And we are done. Access Marvelous. Lead skills indeed. What was in here that was worth it? Money, revive pack, pocket secretary, packer. I knew you'd like your upgrades. That Lebanese guy might have more clients than me, but I provide a safe and cost-effective alternative to him. I have another upgrade stashed near the XNG building. Passcode to the gate is 6114. Try it out. If you like it, you can make your payment to the same account. Johnny B. Reload speed. Ooh, very nice. That was worth doing. And these are ones we have already opened. Worth checking, though, just in case. Well, you want to go to Nightshades. It's just over there. Right, let's talk to you. I'm sorry, we found nothing. Well, did you get the evidence? I'm sorry, he skipped town. Alvarez skipped town, and he didn't leave any evidence. You blew it! Months of work down the drain! Get the hell out of here before I give you a demonstration in police brutality! Fucking odds! He's not happy. Well, you need to calm down, sir. Now have a nap, and think about what you've done. I'll take your shotgun. Let's go and uh, follow our main objective, shall we? Over here. How much more experience do we need? 705. That's not too bad. We should be okay. We can gain more points in the ability to uh, hack more stealthily and sneakily eventually. Right now, we're going to uh, go over to that level 5 one eventually. That level 5 one is going to be a interesting thing to do. It's going to be a difficult one as well, I'm sure. And so, back to the boardwalk, where we're going to head back to the train station. It's been a long time since we've been there, that's for sure. And there's nobody here to uh, stop us from going anywhere, which is good. To the train station we go. Will there be an NPC we can talk to now? I think so. Over here. In this direction. There was not much over here, if you remember. But now, there is. There's you! You definitely don't look suspicious. You totally look suspicious. You are a unique model, therefore you look suspicious. Hello! You must be Cobra. That depends. Who the hell are you? Camilla Cardoso sent me. That should be good enough. Yeah, she told me you'd be coming. Said you're going into Skull's territory. Which means you're either one tough son of a bitch, or you've got a dent in that metal head of yours. An arrogant individual who treats people like commodities will offer assistance to those who serves his needs. Pheromone use recommended. We could ignore. Maybe both. Take enough hits and after a while you stop counting. Or confront. Hmm. 
I'm going to ignore here. Because, uh, we are uh, not going to confront him. He will probably get angry. Maybe both. Take enough hits and after a while you stop counting. So, what have you got for me? First of all, call me curious. But why would someone want to go into gang territory if he didn't have to? I mean, what are you looking to find? Hmm, what are we looking to find? We could be passive here and say the gangs are involved in something they shouldn't be. We can deflect it and say it's none of your business what I'm looking for or be direct. The slum gangs are pushing some new drug rising. I think we're going to be direct here. The slum gangs are pushing some new drug rising. People started taking it instead of neuropazine. Somebody has a problem with this, and they want to find out where the drugs are coming from. You want some kind of humanitarian mission? Is that it? Let's just say I have a personal stake in the outcome. Now, Cardoso said you might be able to help me. Yeah, I might be able to help you. But nothing comes for free. You do a little favor for me, and I'll tell you everything you want to know about the skulls. Oh. Tell me more. What kind of little favor? And why should I care? What kind of little favor? And why should I care? The skulls are run by a shitbag called Diego. We had a... a disagreement over a deal, and he's been after me ever since. Guy really holds a grudge, you know? So, you want me to do your dirty work? Kill him? No, no, nothing like that. Look, Diego keeps a record of all his contacts, you know? Like insurance, in case he ever got busted, he could bargain his way out with the Federales. That list would be very useful to a guy in my line of work. I want you to find it. Steal it for me. Bearing in mind, we have heard about Cobra before. We've read about Cobra. Somebody in the uh, Skull's hideout stole from Cobra. I have a feeling this won't be easy. What's in it for me? That's a good question. But then again... We have already got the promise that we'll get information. There's also the option to say no. But we're going to say yes here. We want this guy on our side. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for Diego's files. Where does he keep them? A pocket secretary. Something he keeps close by. Might even be, you know, in his pocket. <laughs> okay. So what do you want to know? Aha! We could use pheromones here. Recommended. Let's use them. The doc said you were a gunrunner. Maybe you can hook me up with some free firepower? I keep my gear stashed to avoid attention. But I reckon I have some extra ammo I can give you. Brilliant. We don't have uh, much use for a stun gun, but that's good. So this gang, they call themselves the Skulls? Or tell me about this bloke Diego. Let's find out about the Skulls first. So, this gang, they call themselves the Skulls. Yeah, I guess they think it sounds cool. Most of them are pretty young and stupid. They get recruited as teenagers and usually get killed before they have a chance to grow up. Life's kinda cheap around here, huh? And people are afraid of them? Hell, they run half the city. The police let them be most of the time, easier than getting killed. Cops only come in if they have solid evidence a major deal is going down. It's not worth the risk, you know? About the Skulls, I may have already killed most of them. Just so you know, maybe one step ahead. Also, energy save mode on. Got to save that energy. Tell me about this bloke Diego. What I heard? He took over when he killed the last guy who was boss. Slit his throat while he was asleep. Sounds like a real gentleman. Eh, he's not all bad. When I was dealing with him, he was pretty reasonable, most of the time. As long as I was straight with him. But he's kind of... sensitive. Like if he thinks you're disrespecting him? <laughs> By also. Get the hell out of there before the bullets start flying. That's what I did. Sensible idea. I think we've got all we need to know. I think I have what I need. Thanks for the help. Whoa! What's that? Hi, Cobra. We are coming for you, pendejo. We're shutting your ass down. Nah, oh, shit. I got a jet. These creeps will smoke me. You should get the hell out of here, man. Don't worry, I will. So, when we come back, folks, it would seem like bad things are going on here. They're still going on, apparently. Let's see if we can, uh... 
Okay, so they're just walking around. We should probably take care of them at some point. Also, I don't know if you're practicing a new dance move there, Cobra. It's not gonna help you survive this. So when we come back, folks, we'll deal with these skulls, and then we'll do what we need to do. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.